there was a growing appetite for short journeys, um, getting out of the growing sprawl of, of Sydney, and um, Sands, partnering with McDougall, um, began to publish these tourist guides to, to different areas, and um, it um, aimed to both generate revenue for the publishers, um, they sold a lot of advertising in these magazines, um, these, these publications, um, and also to encourage tourists tourists to explore the wonders of the Illawarra as far as the train line terminus at Bomaderry. Um, there was a, a, a wonderful map um, that, um, that I really like, which um, shows um, a, a lot of detail about the Illawarra and how, it, um, uh, how people could expect to you know, travel down the main train line and, um, and get to the places which are advertised in, in the journal. And um, as it happens, I was on a train last week, and you know, I'm comparing that to the um, to the current map that um, that in, informs of us, us of, of where we are, um, but not necessarily of um, of how where we are is. Um, there's a you know the the abstractness of, of the the map that we now use to, to navigate the South Coast Line is is entirely different to um, what the tourists of, of the um, at the turn of the century were were, were looking at and, and hoping to find. Um, there's also quite a few more train stations in the in the southern end, like places like Maru and Jasper's Brush, uh, no longer serviced by train. You would have to go into Bomaderry. Um, but I dare say they may have been to service, um, you know, dairy or um, or mail or those types of things. You know, they're not necessarily a train station in the way that we think of them, but as a spot where the train would stop and you could you could load and, and put things on. 